it is Tuesday evening, roughly 8.30 at night. It has been a very interesting day. I've not gotten anything read. I think I've read a total of whopping 11 pages. If you're wondering the state of me, I just got out of the shower in pajamas because we've had nothing but thunderstorms all day. So I hopped in once the recent, most recent storms went away. Ta-da! This is my lovely state of being. So as this video clip continues, you will see my hair start. Say hello, Romeo. So you'll see my hair start waving up, drying up, um, but it's never all pretty all at the same time. So this is a vlog. I have not done one of these in a hot minute. I am kind of in a reading slump. I did finish the questathon. I had a blast doing it, um, but I came out of it not knowing what to read. I had so many really good books. I mean, I changed things here and there, but all the books that I read, I pretty much really enjoyed, I think, except for one that I gave, gave a two-star rating to. But most of the books I really did enjoy. So I'm not sure why I'm in slumping now, this last week and a half of July. Because I've started, let me grab those books. I started a book on Kindle um, from uh, the Raven Hair Reader, um, from Rachel from Raven Hair Reader, I believe it's her uh, YouTube na name which is the Song of the Marked. I started it last night and I'm like 95 pages in it. It's a fantasy romance. Started off great, but I have no desire to read. So it's, it's good. Started off good with it. Started this one during Questathon, but it's very involved. Started off good. 24 pages in, but I needed something else. But I needed something a little bit lighter, not as mentally involved as this is going to be. It sounds awesome and it's getting very involved already in just the 24 pages. Something's already gone down. So again, a lot has happened in just the 24 pages. Uh, now I'm going to really enjoy it once I get into it and have the mental capacity to absorb everything that's going on. But I have enjoyed the 24 pages that I have read. <laughs> I just don't want to read right now and that sucks <laughs> so so bad so there's that one and then i picked this one up today maybe thinking maybe i will want to get into it again i didn't even tell you so the song song of the marked this was by sm gaither this is my kindle read the bone season this is by samantha shannon and then the last one that I picked up today was Fortuna Sworn. This is by K.J. Sutton. And it started off with a bang already as well. And I've gotten six pages in. A lot has already happened. I'm already intrigued. But I haven't wanted to read today. Yeah. Again, I think it's going to be kind of a dark fantasy, possibly romance thrown in type of book. So, Chosen One lost air i'm not really sure about it so a lot of things that i would be interested in if i can get myself into the reading mode and my mojo back so those are the three things that i've tried to read since i finished questathon i just haven't been able to pick up a book and dive into it but i know there are two possible reasons for my conundrum today one is i read a ton yesterday I think between two and three hundred pages yesterday, I think around in there. Anytime I read a huge chunk, then the next day I don't read near as much. So I have started since I've been tracking my daily reading in my journal, then I've started noticing that pattern. Second thing is I've been up since about two thirty, three o'clock this morning when all the storms started. So I woke up, could not go back to sleep, and I've been on kind of booktube, Instagram, playing games on my phone, hearing the thunder, shaking my house, all of that since about 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning. So all of that combined has not led to a great reading mind frame because my mind is exhausted, my eyes are exhausted, and I'm hoping I can get back into the swing of things. 
So the next item on our this vlog, and which is going to be primarily what this vlog is going to be about, I want to vlog my experience reading the rest of this series, which is the middle grade series, which is not bad because I'm going to be going back to work soon, which is The Keepers of the Lost Cities. I won't be able to vlog the first book. The other book that I have, it looks different, and you'll see that in an upcoming video, which is the re recently read series that I have. But I bought the first book to see if I like the series, and then Amazon had the box set for a really good deal, so I bought the box set. And of course, the first book doesn't match the one I already have. So th these are slightly taller, and so they're a little bit thinner and the covers are different like the color the main color scheme is different this picture is the same but the background color is different anyway so i will have a reaction to my first to the first book one for two reasons one i started it i think back in february ish back then i read like a between 40 and 80 pages, somewhere around the 140, between 80 and 140 pages. Then put it down because of all things that went on earlier of last year, and didn't get back to it until last week. So I didn't vlog my experience, but I really did enjoy this book. So I did get the rest of the series. There are eight books in the series, so I will vlog the experiences of reading the rest of it of them. So the first one is literally called Keepers of the Lost Cities. That's the book one. And I love, love that they put the number on the spine. I wish more series did this. So when they're on the bookshelves, you can tell which is book one. Fabulous. Love that they did that. So this is book one. So Keepers of the Lost City. I know people have huge problems going on with the HP series, Harry Potter's. I love Harry Potter. I will love it till the day I die. I uh, will continue to keep it. Uh, but it's similar-esque. It has that kind of lost, found family type of thing, type of storyline. There is a parallel school universe within the human realm. That kind of concept. I really did enjoy it. There's a whole magic system. She is part of it and trying to find her place within that realm. Coming in at a course of a disadvantage, there is one adult that reminds me of Malfoy's father, that kind of greasy, ick, kind of well-to-do kind of character just kind of gives you the ick faster factor but the boy Keith love that character that's his father but him I actually do like a lot a lot of the characters so far yeah I really have enjoyed it but this is book one really did enjoy it so then we get to this is book two this is exile and we've got a horse Ooh, love that um, and there are elves. So got the human world, and then you got the elf, elven world. It's kind of the twist here. There's that one, so book two. And this is will be the book that I will start with in this vlog. So book three, and these are fairly chunky little books. Ah, huh, they're falling. Uh, this is Everblaze. So book four. Four. This is Never Seen. Book four. Alright, book five. And um, this is Love Star. This is Nightfall. And they are definitely getting chunkier <laughs> as the series goes. Flashback. And then the last book, book eight. This is Legacy. So these are the eight books out of the Keeper of the Lost Cities. I'm going to get that title eventually. Uh, Keepers of the Lost Cities. I cannot wait to dive in. Maybe this will spark my reading again. I'll see how much I can get read tonight. Again, it's after 8.30 at this time. So we will see how much I get read tonight and all of that. So let me go put these books up. 
and then we will get started reading and all of that. So let's see you back in just a little bit. left off in book one. What? Hopefully it's going to explain some things because where book one left off and where this is starting two totally different places and this is only the preface oh my okay on to chapter one now all right there's you an update for you <laughs> all right i may need to go back and read the ending of book one but i don't remember it ending like that and start up that way okay and here we go continuing on pages read out of Keepers of the Lost Cities Exile, which is book two. I'm really enjoying it. So you got Sophie, and I believe this is Dex, and Romeo is right here. If you see the tripod shaking, Nex is down on the floor. But anyways, so our two main characters so far, Sophie is who we're following. Um, she's the main heroine of the whole series. Go on. And this is, I believe, Dex, who is her basically her best friend in the series, who, who has befriended her um, in the first book, kind of helping her find her way in this new world that she has found herself in. So, yeah. And then we got a new creature. This is, I believe, she is we've recently discovered in what little I've read. So there are many spoilers, but not really, just characters' names I don't think are too bad of spoilers, but this is called an Alcorn. This is what they're calling it. It's kind of like a Pegasus, but it's just a different breed of flying horse. It's Alcorn, and uh, I think they called it a Sil Sylvan? Sylvany, Sylvany is how they, I believe is how you say her name, which is female. And apparently they are a very rare breed of creature within this world. Again, they are elves, um, which is kind of a spin on things. So, yeah, I am really enjoying it. Uh, book two does uh, take place a year after the first book ends. So it's a year later. I'm still trying to figure out the whole preface because that was very odd. Even though it's a year later, that was still 
I don't know if it's foreshadowing something later in the book or not because the actual chapter one makes more sense to where book one left off. So I'm not sure where the preface fits in to the story yet. So maybe as I read the book, it will make more sense. So if you pick up the series and you read the preface, it's gonna be a little confusing, but I'm hoping as I read it, it's going to make more sense. Like I said, it may foreshadow, be some foreshadowing going on of events later to take place because right now it just seems very jarring at the moment for the preface where book one ended and where it took up. That is kind of my thoughts at the moment, but yeah, overall I'm enjoying it. I'm glad I'm getting back into the book, so I don't know outside of those two reasons I talked about, you know, last night if my mind was just so engaged with this book one finishing book one it wanted to go into book two and i was just waiting on my package to get here that it couldn't read and didn't want to pick up into any of these other really good books it just wanted to jump into book two and see where the story went from there so i cannot wait ah uh, so again i'm I only read through chapter three out of this 505 or 400. There are, I'll tell you a second, 568 page book, so a little chunky book um, for me. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to share my experience with you guys. I know it's been out, so this was published in 2013, but I still want to keep it as spoiler free as possible in case you have not read it. So. I haven't heard many people on booktube talk about this series so yeah i'm excited to share my again my thoughts my reactions with you guys on this middle grades book so if any of my students stumble across my channel here's the middle grade story that i think you would be interested in yeah so let's get into some reading cannot wait Arr! yes 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 get my book prop which is what my canoe is and let's get some reading done all right yes i'm drinking out of a christmas gift from last year meowy christmas mug
I absolutely <laughs> love Shannon Messenger. The way that she writes some of her dialogue is absolutely hysterical. <laughs> One of Sophia's lines was, that just got me rolling. There's a whole scene which is like, I don't know whether I want to strangle you or beat you with a shoe. It's just the whole scene you <laughs> between her, the whole conversation between her and Fitz and Keith. Uh, it's hysterical. Oh God, that was hysterical. So it got so she just cracks me up. So it's just in a middle group, middle grades mindset. It is absolutely hysterical. I am enjoying it. I'm still in chapter. For, I believe this is a really long chapter so I'm gonna continue reading and I will catch you guys later I'm enjoying the ride I am currently on page 52 I will check back with you later and see you know give you an update on where I'm at but yeah I'm loving it oh <laughs> I love 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 I love this so far uh, this is what I needed to get back into my reading groove, I think. It's, this is where my mind wanted to be at. All it, all it was on top of the other two factors. So, yeah. I'm going to continue reading and I will check back in with you guys later. <laughs> yeah, I love it so far. I love it so far. Alright. Well, I'm about to bring you along to get this seven drawer unit um, put together. So uh, <laughs> this ought to be a fun addition to this vlog. I've had this about a week and a half. I just haven't had the motivation to put it together. I already have one system put together and they sent the wrong one. They sent a filing cabinet with this one originally when it was supposed to be another unit like it. Um, otherwise it had already been put together. So I'm going to bring you along and put it together and this is what we're going to be doing. So yeah, so let me go on and get it unboxed and bring you along with me. Okay, see you in a little while. Alright, got it. that part unboxed. I will be right back. So I have room for putting assembly.
that. Oh. My friends, I completed finally my drawer system. It is all put together. I hope you enjoy watching those clips of me putting it all together. It actually went together fairly quickly. A lot easier than the first time, but I've already put one together, so I knew what I was getting into. So I hope you enjoyed the little mini put together. I'm super excited to start organizing some more stuff, getting my office put together and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to go run uh, to town and go get something to eat because I'm starving now. And then I'm going to get some more reading done and then I'll check back in with you and let you know what's going on with Sophia and Dex and how I'm enjoying Exxon. So until my next check-in you guys, happy reading! I wanted to pop on and kind of give you an update. It's gone on close to 10 30 so I'm going to call it a night. I am loving this book. I am currently um, left off read up to chap through chapter 13. I'm stopping on chapter 14. A lot has gone on. Um, a lot of intrigue, a lot of mystery have gone on of who the Black Swan is, what their purpose is. And we kind of were introduced to them in the first book. Again, we still don't know who they are, what they are, why they're doing the things that they're doing, and we still don't know. Um, it's a still going on. School still hasn't start, started up yet. Still don't like one of the counselors. He is, um, which is kind of the head body in this world that governs the body of elves, that rule, kind of the rulers, that sort of thing. Still don't like one of them. He's just a real jerk, especially to Sophie. So, um, yeah, he's a, he's a piece of work. Not a nice character, but yeah. <laughs> There's this one scene, I, I wish I was recording it, my reaction earlier, because <laughs> it was absolutely hysterical. Just just thinking about it is, is, is funny. I just dying, dying laughing. I, I, love, I love the descriptions, it, it is great. So definitely, definitely, Gets, gets me rolling laughing in this book so far. I know the first book made me laugh, made me cry uh, at different points. So it does hit you in the feels. Talks about a lot of relevant topics, some suit for children, help them work through things. Um, definitely, definitely good concepts being discussed in this book. Even though it is fantastical and all of that, it, it does have some good concepts being talked about. And I think that's important too. Grief and dealing with death and some things of those natures going on in it. And how to handle it and that type of thing. So I've been really enjoying it. Like I said, I'm maybe a quarter of the way through around uh, 123 pages read, stopping on 124. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's about a quarter of the way through. I cannot wait to continue. Don't really have a lot of project stuff to do tomorrow. That I really need. To, I do need to film tomorrow a couple of videos, but that's about the only project based that nothing that should take a long time to do. Uh, but other than that, no big major things like I did today. So, yeah, but otherwise, I'm going to call it a night, and then go to bed, and then I will check back with you in the morning, get some reading in, maybe, maybe a few clips of me reading along, get maybe some reactions to see what goes on, and I'll go from there. But anyways, I um, hope you guys have a great night or a great day, depending on when you're re uh, watching this vlog. And until my next check-in, you guys, have a good one. Well, good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, it's a little after 8 in the morning. Um, I've already been up and busy. I woke up mm, roughly 5.30ish. Cat's decided. Romeo especially decided. I needed to be up at that time. Which is pretty good because next week by Tuesday I need to be getting up by 5 o'clock anyways because work. Hello! 
we'll be back. So I need to start getting used to getting up about five anyways. So, yeah. But I didn't actually get out of bed until after six. So I've already filmed two videos that I need to edit later. So that is really the only other thing I really need to do today. Y'all hear possibly in the background lovely ambiance we have going on. It's raining, thundering, and you may see some lightning going on in the background. It's a lovely day today. So I got some great ambiance going on in the background this morning. So yeah, don't plan on doing any running around town today. Um, I'm glad I got everything that I needed to get put together done yesterday, so I'm not messing with tools or anything like that. Metal, any of those types of things. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for the people who are collecting the garbage because it's yucky outside and it's going to be kind of waterlogged by the time they come around. Um, yeah, they are supposed to have been picked up by now, so I can't control the weather on that. I did give you guys a checkup on this last night, so I'm not going to recap that. I uh, haven't read anything yet this morning, but that's what I'm about to do. So that's pretty much what my morning has consisted of. I've already eaten breakfast, so I'm ready to get some uh, pages knocked out. Because I'm loving the book so far, and I can't wait to dive back in. So, yeah. Oh, loving this series. Can't, see, can't wait to see what else goes on with Sophie. I'm going to get her name right because I think I called her Sophia in one of the clips, but her name is actually Sophie, not Sophia. So, see what she gets up to, her and Dex and um, Sylvani. See what happens when she actually goes to school, if it even goes, gets into school. We'll see if she gets into term yet or if it's going to take place before term even goes, but we'll see. <laughs> it's so good and like I said uh, previous I hate one of the counselors he is an absolute jerk but you also have to have those characters that you don't like you, uh, otherwise it would not make a good story you have to have conflicts you gotta have characters you don't like it's just the way it is and he's not a likable character he's just not and some of the other characters are not so likable characters but that's how we learn Learn to get work through conflicts is reading and learning and all of that. All right, so about time to start chapter 14. All right, here we go. Thursday so far. It has been a very yucky day. I'm just thankful the storms have finally kind of settled down. I've gotten quite a bit read. I am through chapter 24. I've finished through page 224 out of 568 pages. They are not in school yet. So much has gone on and it deals with some heavy topics like we touched on earlier about dealing with grief. Um, now they touch, have touched on conservation. Should we take animals out of the wild and put them on conservation preserves? Taking wild animals and somewhat taming them so that we can conserve the species so that they don't go extinct. Should we do that? They touch on those type of topics um, in this book. So it, it is more than just a fantastical elves and human world. It deals with real topics and I'm really enjoying that. 
uh, makes you really think about it. Is it right for us to do that? And it kind of brings those up in a way that, you know, gets you thinking. Even as an adult reading a middle grade's book, it really gets you thinking about that, those type of topics. Um, I'm really, like I said, I'm really enjoying, was not expecting going in and learning and thinking about topics like that, but it, it brings up some hardcore topics, and I'm really enjoying that aspect of the book. I'm still not in school yet, but there is bullying going on, um, how to deal with that, how to deal with growing up and facing, you know, your peers, peer pressures. The, you know, the typical middle school things that they have to go through, you know, being the new kid at the school, being the odd person out, you know, she is, you know, young, so she is kind of, you know, even in the human world, she was advanced for her age, so she was, I think, I think they said, if I remember right, and you learn about that, you like, she was really young, in a high school, you know, so she was young for her age in a high school, so she was advanced for her age in a high school setting, so dealing with that um, aspect. So she's also facing that, that having these abilities and being advanced even in, even though she's technically behind in her culture, she's in more advanced also in a weird way as well. So she's having to deal with those same issues that she was facing in the human world in her actual elfin culture as well. So she's learning about that. So she has to deal with that and dealing with a lot of responsibilities at such a young age that it, it is really good. It's so good. And now she's got a whole nother task being put on her young shoulders. Again, there is this rebellion that is taking place you know it's built into the whole story plot line within their culture that's happening and somehow she is involved in it but she doesn't know how she doesn't know why it's a big huge big question mark as to how she fits into all of it and I don't know I'm so intrigued how to do with everything with Sophie in her place in this world. So intrigued about all of it, how she's come about everything. Because you got the council, and then you got this thing called the Black Swan, and then you have this other entity, which we don't know what they are. It's so, just so many different elements, all playing a part of poor Sophie's life. They all want a piece of her. <laughs> and she just wants to be a kid. <laughs> she just wants to grow up and know and have a family and have friends and be normal, whatever normal is. Poor girl, I feel so bad for her. God, my heart, oh, it aches for her. Just to have a semi-normal-ish, semi have a family, that's all she wants is to have a family, have a place, have a home, and a few friends. That's all the girl wants. And it kills that she's being pulled in so many different directions, not knowing who to trust, who to rely on, who's telling her the truth, who's using her, who's manipulating her. Oh my God. I want to tear up just, this is only book two, oh my God. <laughs> got what six more books to go so there are eight books total in the series and this is only book two and I'm almost to the halfway point I don't know but it's also uh, Shannon Messenger she has great humor tied up in to this book as well so yeah <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at there is just so much depth to this book, to this series as a whole, deals with a lot of deep topics, like I said, that I wasn't expecting. Wow. <laughs> mm. And Sylvian, the, the alicorn, 
she's hysterical. And that, it gets me. The antics of Sophia and her together, those, those are priceless moments. They get me rolling. But yeah, if you think middle grade, this is a middle, yes, it is a middle grade series. It reads middle grade, but it deals with some heavy topics. It's worth the read. I mean, I, like I said, I'm an adult, well into my adulthood, and I'm having a blast with this series. I would highly recommend it. At least up to book two anyways. I don't know about the rest of the series, but through book two so far, halfway through it, loving it so far, loving my experience. Like I said, I'm not a crier and I'm about to ball just thinking about everything that's going on with this child already. <laughs> oh man. Okay, now it's time to get some more reading done because I left off in a very traumatic part of the book going on, some trauma going on, seeing what's about to happen. So yeah, let me wipe up my tears <laughs> so I can focus on reading. <laughs> Yeah. All right. What a chapter, what a chapter. Good. Oh my. mess but it is about 9 45 so I'm gonna call it a night um, it's Thursday night I am so in love with this book I <laughs> read well over half the book I am stopping on chapter 51 which is on page 452 
Oh, so much is going on in this book. So many conflicts, so many, like I said, dealing with how people handle uh, conflicts and dealing with family issues and when bad things happen to people that we love, how, how we deal with that, um, how sometimes we lash out at people even though we don't mean to and those types of things. Oh, it's such, oh, such a good book dealing with those types of emotions. And I'm still getting choked up just, just thinking about it. Gosh, I hope, I hope they find a, she finds a solution to the main problem that's being faced in this, in this book. Oh, I'm hoping. Cross my fingers, Syl Sylvian, hoping she's going to be play a key role into it, but I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be a key, key component to helping solve this problem or not, but so many people are so angry at her right now and taking out their anger out on her, and it's not right, but so, so much is going on. Mm -mm -mm. So many emotions. I don't, I, I wish I could just binge this little bit left, but I need to get up early tomorrow. I've got to take care of a friend's dog that I'm taking care of this weekend. Um, and also got to go and set up my classroom tomorrow. So I need to get in bed so I can go and do all that. I have the energy to do that, but all I want to do is binge read the rest of it. So I don't know <laughs> if I'm gonna do that tonight when I go lay down. Because I don't know if I lay down if I'm going to go to sleep or if I'm just going to sit there and just just roll and roll and roll and roll. But oh my god, it's such a good book. So many friendships, developing friendships, uh, kind of the first stages because they're around, she's 13 years old. So the, just that developing and starting to develop interest in boys and boys in developing interest in girls and that first kind of sparks going on. So yeah, that's already kind of being touched on a little bit. You know, you're my friend, no, you're my friend, you can't be friends with them because you're my friend. All that middle school angst a little bit is also being touched on. Yeah, all of, all of those types of things, all of those things that middle schoolers go through is also being touched on. So you got some heavy things and then what's meaningful to a middle schooler is also being touched on as well in these books. So, mmm, such a good story. So well done. Can't see where, can't wait to see where it goes. I know what I need to do as an adult for what I need to do tomorrow, but I know what the reader in me wants to do as well. So I'll let you know tomorrow when I get a chance to check in with you guys what I choose to do tonight. I know what I need to do versus what I want to do. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll check back in with you sometime tomorrow and update you on what I think and to close out this vlog with my experience going through on this book. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Good night, you guys. Well, good morning, you guys. It is Friday morning, uh, a little after eight. I've um, been up for a couple of hours. I've gotten a video edited. It's exporting right now to getting it ready for us. Saturday morning to go up um, for that. Um, so I have that done. I did not finish my book. I was good. Once I finally got in bed, I was tired enough. I went to sleep. So I um, actually did that. I've read a little bit more out of the book. <sighs> There's so much going on. So much is on poor Sophie's shoulders. So many questions and concerns, medical things going on with her. So, so much uh, going on with her. It's so hard, uh, but it is so worth the read. I am so loving it. Oh, 
cannot stress that enough. Hopefully you, you're getting that through this vlog. So I cannot wait to finish out the rest. I'm on around 474 out of, I think it was 568. To finish this out today, I should be able to finish it and finish the vlog out, hopefully today. If not, I'll definitely finish it out Saturday. I am about to head out. I need to go take care of my friend's um, pup. Uh, he's a very, very large pup dog. She's gone for a few days, so I agreed to take care of him. He's such a sweet dog. So we'll be doing that. And then from there, I'm heading into work. I'm going to set up my classroom. I uh, will try to take you along, show you a few snippets of that, of what the state it looks like to start off with, and then hopefully a few snippets of once I get some things, how it ends, what it looks like after I get maybe some posters on the wall, the desk set up, hopefully crossing my fingers, they got it cleaned. Cause things were different this year um, from years in the past. But hopefully, like I said, fingers crossed, everything is the way it's supposed to be. And I can get some things done so when pre-planning starts next Wednesday, that I can actually concentrate on planning stuff and not have to worry about putting things on the wall and organizing and all of that. That will, will be done. So that is my plan. So I'll spend a couple hours there doing that today, and then I'll come back and then get back into this. Ugh, can't wait. Uh, I want to finish it so bad, so, so bad, because I am enjoying my ride through exile, and I cannot wait to see what's going to go on. So let me go on and get the rest of my day started and take you along with me. All right, you guys, to my next check-in. So this is the state of my room currently. Nothing on the walls, really. It's kind of how I left it. And all my desks kind of in a row, they've come in and they've cleaned, so yeah, this is what I am currently working with. So I'm going to spend a couple hours rearranging, getting things up on the wall, and then I will show you what it looks like after I'm done. Anywho, alright you guys, check back with you in a couple hours. Alright, this is kind of an overview of what the classroom kind of looks like right now. I didn't end up putting anything on the walls right now. I wasn't feeling my posters. I have a few over there that I want to put up later. I ended up ordering some more, um, but I did get my desk arranged into pairs. Got my desk kind of set up. Um, got some things to work on next week. Got my board cleaned off and some things organized, um, desk set up and whatnot. So I'm ready to go for that, but I did end up ordering some more posters that were more inspiring than the ones that I've been using for the last several years. I was just not feeling them this year when I was flipping through them. So got that organ uh, ordered and waiting for them to come in tomorrow and then get them laminated. And then in some future vlogs, I will get some snippets of what those look like on the wall. So it kind of looks empty and kind of blurred, kind of boring right now. But I'm happy with the setup at least right now, unless things um, change and then I have to separate my desk out of pairs. But I'm excited looking at it, um, re get things organized on my desk so it actually looks functional. So I'm getting excited, you guys. Um, so I will check back in with you later once I get some reading done. But I'm going to go grab lunch and then head home. Bye, guys.
finished exile oh my gosh it is so good oh i loved how it ended so many good things happened so many twists so many turns still trying to figure out who these black cloaked people are where do they fit in still got a huge question mark about who they are still one counselor i don't like got a suspicion about another one He's kind of throwing up some red flags about some things about him. I cannot wait to get into book three. So happy tears going on. My eyes are a little teary. I don't know. But anyways, love this series so far as books one and two. Um, leave me your thoughts. Have you read this series? It's a great series so far. Like I said, I've only read books one and two. Cannot wait to dive into book three, which I believe is called Never Seen, possibly. Yeah, can't wait to dive in and see where the story takes off from here. Still haven't figured out the whole preface. It didn't really explain itself in the book like I was hoping, but yeah. So this pretty much concludes this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. A lot of more things than just reading of the book. I uh, wasn't planning on a lot of that, but that is what happened. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast filming it. So yeah, such happy feels. Happy tears, some sad tears, and a lot of other stuff went on. But anyways, I will catch you guys later. Bye.